Life's a coat of many colors. From Debbie's Design Diary.com, this is Serial DIY. This is episode 21, The Wood Stamped Wreath. Can't have one without the other. The dark without the light. Are you going to be in the video this time? Is in the center? Looks like it. Yeah. When I first started my YouTube channel, it was in 2012, like six, six years ago, seven years ago. I had this secret dream to have a million subscribers and get the gold play button. The problem is making the videos. I'm a perfectionist. And so I end up spending 40 hours on a video. I make like one video a month if I'm lucky. YouTube says you have to make at least one video a week. I came up with this idea right here. I thought, okay, I can get this video done in three days. And then the next video I do will be even faster. Found round wood for $6 and veneer for the bow at Home Depot. But by the time I got back, the sun had set and it was too late to film. I did this version right here with white on it. I took this picture and I sent it to my friend Karen and I also sent it to my friend Melissa. Oh my God, that's amazing. It's gonna be such a great video. I thought, okay, well this is good, but I think it would be better if it were gray. And I took it all apart and I turned on the camera and I painted over the white. Next day, I turned on my camera and I painted over the white version. I used weathered wood as a base and white wax over the top to create the look of oxidized barn wood. I alternated between clear wax and white wax to help pull up the excess and then I wiped it back with a dry cloth. And I spent all day filming and making and I was super excited about it. So I sent this picture to my friend Karen and I said gray or white. She tells me that she's got a house full of people and she passed her phone around. Debbie sent this picture of her new video, these cute wreaths she made. And she wants to know if we like white or gray. I like white. Mm. Yeah, I like the white too. See? Well, I think I like the gray. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I like the gray. gray. I write back with a okay and a little heart. At this point, I'm disappointed and I'm frustrated because there's a little voice in my head that's saying, yeah, the white one was better. Maybe you should just film the whole thing over again tomorrow. So then I texted my friend Melissa and she writes back white exclamation point. It's a white Christmas, not a gray Christmas. It was overwhelming majority that everybody liked the white instead of the gray. You take this and you paint it with the dark and decrepit. I'm right behind you. This time I got a second piece of wood and started again. I painted a layer of dark and decrepit first, so when I distressed back the white, it would look like there was dark wood underneath. I waited for that to dry, and then I added a coat of white swan over the top. So I was talking to Zeb and Jamie, you know them? They, they have a channel with DIY and they post five videos a week, and it's really not fair because there's two of them doing it. Maybe if I had a Zeb or, or a Jamie, then, then I could post five videos a week, but it's just me. The most I've ever been able to do is two videos a month. I was talking to Jamie and she's like, yeah, we're gonna have like the, the 25 days of Christmas and we're gonna have a DIY for all 25 days of Christmas. And I was just like, yeah, right. People do Vlogmas from Thanksgiving to Christmas. People do that, they do that every year and I, I always watch them and I always wish that I could do it too. When I try and think of something quick and easy, my brain, it just doesn't want to work that way. I kind of drive myself a little nuts. You can make a fancy wooden bow out of this stuff right here. I didn't end up using this. I thought that the bow looked too puny. I drove to the special wood store to get this because Home Depot only carries the skinny kind. I drove to a special woodworking store to get what I wanted, but you can also find this on Amazon. I'll add my link below. You're so busy chasing stars 
when you can shine bright as the sun. I repeated the same process on the veneer, adding dark and decrepit oh, first, and then a layer of white swan to both sides of the tape. So it's been six years and I'm, I'm not even close to a million subscribers. I think I'm at 173,000, which is good. I still haven't given up the dream and I still want to try and make as many videos as I can from now until Christmas day. We sell these in my store. It's a stamp. You can take flat, plain, boring wood. You can make it look like pallet wood. You can make it look like planks. You can give it wood grain and there's nail marks and markings from when the wood goes through the machine. This one is the one for the planks because it's got the lines on the side. See, that's, that's the wood grain. You roll it with the brayer. If you use a paintbrush, then it, it doesn't work as good. I applied a layer of weathered wood to the stamps with a brayer and quickly pressed it onto the round wood because DIY paint dries very fast. You don't need a lot of paint for the stamp because DIY paint is highly pigmented. There's no way I'm staying here. And I remember when my heart I alternated between the different textures and used the dividing lines and nail marks to create the look of planked wood. When I went to Home Depot, I got this, and then right next to it was this stuff. This is laminate veneer. I, I felt like the bow was too skinny. You can get this on Amazon. You can totally bend it into a bow. You cut several pieces of it, and you staple it together. You can make all different kinds of bows. You can make whatever kind of bow you want, and then it's done. It's really easy. You can do it really quick. I live near a rooster. I don't know if you can hear it. This time, Bobby cut the hole for me after I had painted and stamped the wood. I think it made it easier to get the plank line straight and even. And after we cut it, we sanded and painted the inside edge. I used weathered wood again on one side of about six feet of veneer. I alternated the stamps, but omitted the plank lines. Then I cut up the veneer into seven pieces and stapled the bow together. There are many ways to create a bow. I just copied one I already had made from ribbon. I attach the bow to the wreath base with small nails and a hammer. You can use the nails to manipulate the veneer. They will hold your bow in place as you bend it, twist it, and shape it to give your bow more depth and movement. So I ended up making this wreath three times. I made it white twice and gray once. Which one is your favorite? know which one I like better. I do like the white one. I think the gray one is really pretty too. Let me know in the comments if you like the gray one or the white one better or would you paint it a totally different color than this. 
If you would like to make one of these wreaths, we're teaching a class at my store on December 7th. If you're interested in taking a class from me or one of the DIY retailers, click the link down below to find a class near you. Do you have any ideas for videos that are not as time consuming? Do you think I should even try and make 25 videos between now and Christmas? And if so, what should they be? Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. To find DIY paint in your area or to sell DIY paint in your store or to find Iron Orchid Design products, click the link below. Thanks for watching. It's funny how I mix up my heart in my head. Now I just want you right here in my bed. Country, all of the